I'm David. I'm from Alameda County Vector Control, and we're here to do an inspection. Um, we understand that you're having some rat problems. We're having a big problem. I sure need your help. Okay, well, we want to look around to see what we can do to help you. Absolutely. Anything I can do for you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And more important, what you can do for us. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we're willing. We're willing. Okay, so where, where are you going to take a look first, David? I think we'll... Uh, I've, I've never really walked through the house, yeah. but I guess we can start. Well, I know they do here. a run along the um, <clears throat> baseboard here. Going, going along the baseboard. And I actually saw one one time coming up out of the toaster. Yeah, it's a popular place in the kitchen. So and do you, all of these cabinets. You want to take a look under this? Sink? Of course, I, w I was slow in getting food out of a lot of the cabinets, so they were having a real feast. So well, I just saw a rat run by. Oh, I just saw the tail go that way. Okay. I'm sorry. Is that you? I'm just too no, slow. That's the rat. I think that's from the rat. Okay, that's good. Look at that. So I think if we look in the well, here's a lot of signs of rat activity. Yeah. What do you see, yeah, Dave? Here, I think this well, is here we can look, and we can see um, so oh, wow. we can see paper that's been shredded. Actually, right here. Mm -hmm. We can also look back here and see areas where other paper has been shredded. We can also see that right along here, debris, uh, shredded paper. There's also an, an, uh, an odor that says that they've been here. Um, another thing that you can see, if you take a look at this, this is a, uh, a, a, a fabric where you can see where they've ran over it. Mm -hmm. And where they've ran, they've actually left a, a darker oil mark. That's more of a smudge mark. But anyway, this will give you kind of a, a, a glimpse of, of what they are able to do if they're if they're in a certain area and this this area of course happens to be underneath the kitchen sink. Uh, right here Wes, this a beautiful thing you can see. So, but if we could look on this other side because I did see a rat. Okay, I'm going to show I'm going to show him sir. Because I want, I want, I want it. Okay, so I mm -hmm. can't see anything behind there except the Except the droppings. What happens if you open one of those drawers? Okay, well what we're going to do, we're going to open some drawers and see what we find. Um, we don't know, but we'll open it and just see. This drawer looks, actually looks pretty good. I don't see much in here in, in the way of, of evidence. Um, I have seen them in that open area. This area here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Here's another area. Ooh. I wish it kind of looks like maybe a nest, huh, Dave? If you take a look at this, um, again, this has debris. Um, it has where you can see paper that's been shredded. I'm just going to put my gloves on. So we're going to dig in a little bit. And by dig in, I mean we're going to... Uh, kind of take a closer look and see what we can find. One thing I see right here is a dropping, which it kind of fell away. Anyway, looks pretty much shredded up like kind of what you'd expect from a nesting site. What do you think? I think so. This looks like um, this has been used uh, as nesting material. As you can see, you have uh, shredded bits of paper. Um, this is just an area where they, where they have, have actually spent a lot of time at. When you have stuff where, you know, you have bags that are bitten through or, or, uh, stuff that's been used, um, um, that's been shredded up, um, it's, it's actually is used as material for nesting. This is the lower drawer. Pretty of course, again, you see the same thing. Pretty tough to pull out, huh? It is. This it is. We can't pull them all oh, the way oh, out. Oh, okay. I thought I saw something walking there. Okay. Wow. Okay. Turn off the steel now. Oh, so so this is the the first place you you noticed the the rats coming in. Yes. So, what do we got here, Dave? Well, here we have a uh, 
Dang. if you look. Before you do it, Dave, before you do it, look, Pastor, you said some, uh, <laughs> some contrast and comparisons. Now, if you look up here, you see this board. You see the, the normal color of the wood. And if you look further up, you can see where the wood is smudged. And this is telling you the pathway or their pattern. You look at the top of that board and you can see where it's smudged. And you look as it comes down, uh, you can see the smudge marks on the board as well as on the wall. And these are rub marks. This is oil and dirt and debris from their fur. From their fur. Um, and as they, as they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, they, um, they leave that. And that's evidence of their activity. You can also look, we're going to kind of move around. I'm going to close the cabinet here. And you can look also at the top of the cabinet. So they're, they're, they're coming over the cabinet and they're actually coming down the corner of the wall. So if you look, you look at the normal color of the wood and then you look at the discoloration. Again, this is their activity. This is classic. This is classic rat activity. Going from the top to the bottom, the bottom to the top. Just back and forth. Um, okay, so what, 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 what do we got here, Dave? Okay, so if you take a look, um, if you look at the regular board right here, you'll see the normal color of the wood, which is this color. If you look further up, you'll see the discoloration. Um, if you notice, there's a pattern. The discoloration runs uh, actually from the opening in the attic, and it runs down. So they're, they're, they're going up into the attic, probably back and forth. They're coming down this piece of wood. Take a look on the wall. You'll, you'll see also another smudge mark. And take a look at the droppings. It's just, yeah, just, it's just droppings loaded. You can even see them on top of uh, actually this little portion of the oven. The oven, I'm sorry. Also, and there's even some knob knob marks back there. You know, there's a little board that goes through. And we're going to show you. Here's some also some knob marks that are on the actual wood right there. Uh, they've really, they've really, really done a lot of chewing. They've also done it right here. They've also done it over on that cabinet, uh, which is kind of off to our, our left. Um, there's some right there. Yeah, wow. Okay. Well then, if, if we keep looking. So do you think this is no marks also at the bottom of the <laughs> I think they possibly could be. I think they actually they are. And there's also some also up here. So you can see that rats have been running across the top of this cabinet door. If you look on this side, you can see better signs up here. So they're running over the top of this cabinet door. Notice the smudge marks. And they're coming, they're coming down. They're running up and down. So that's also, again, marks right here on the top of the oven. So this is kind of a um, classic, classic example. The other thing I wanted to show you is if you take a look at this dropping, these are actually roof rat droppings. They're, they're slender, they're spindle shaped. And So, what, does that look like they've been kind of widening the corner of that cabinet, Dave? Yeah, it looks also like they have chewed here. They've really gnawed this down and rounded it off. The normal, the normal color or the normal corner should be, of course, like this. But if you look here, it's been chewed here. It's also been really chewed here. And if you look right here, you can see where their, their rub marks are. The other thing you notice here is that these edges, from them running back and forth, you have the smudge mark here, and you also have where it's rounded off from them running back and forth. Again, these are classic signs of rat activity. Oh, yeah. There's another example of a rub mark where they are climbing up. Got the, the igloo. Oh, yeah. Look, look here, Miss Wood, before you, before you, uh, before you. 
What do we got here, Tate? Oh, wow. Here. Look behind you there. It's not loaded, so. Yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to. right there. Yeah, you got a lot, Wes. Whoa, whoa. You got a lot, Wes. I'm outside, yeah. Okay, well. Oh, God. This is, uh, this is nice. Well, so as you could tell, this infestation has been going on for quite a while. Would you put a timeline on this, Dave? Well, I think they've been here for, to me it just appears it's been um, quite a few months. Quite a few months. They've been here for a while. This is really built up. Um, This is a good point where we can show Dan like the, uh, how the, the labels have been getting off the cans. Just tell me when to start talking. I don't know. Oh, okay, well, go ahead. Okay, here again we have other signs. If we look at the cabinet, we can see where, where labels have been chewed off the cans. Uh, again, you can see where there's been shredding going on. The labels have been pulled off. Um, and then again, you see the same thing, same thing right here. I'd like to show you this also. This is really where they've done a lot of gnawing. They really have made a nice rounded off opening right here. Uh, go in and out of here. The other thing that I'd like to, you know, we, we did look at it earlier, but I... What do you think would happen if you open one of those cabinet doors, like maybe this one? Well, why don't you just go for the easy, easy one right here. This one. Okay, this is another cabinet. We just want to take a look in real quick and see. Um, this is pretty much how it looks. Again, um, this is this is nesting material where they've shredded and and chewed up, and all this material that you see down here is actually their activity. The other thing, I, well, we already looked at it once, but let's just look at it again, the droppings. Again, the spindle-shaped droppings. Again, this identifies roof rats. So again, this is roof rat activity. So, from <clears throat> this perspective, it seems like this is kind of the pantry area and the kitchen area it really seem to be the, the focus of their activity. I mean, you look on top of everything. I mean, look at the rub marks just on. Mm -hmm. Again, we have rub marks. Um, we have marks on the calendar where they've ran and all this shows the level of activity that's been happening uh, that's been happening here and this is heavy activity this is heavy activity Well, I, Dave, I think we, we've confirmed that there's a pretty bad rat problem here. I think we have. There's a lot of evidence. There's a lot of activity. Everything is here. That, uh, and, and even here, these such mobile rats, you know, you can see their rub marks going right up the corner. 
Wow. Well, <clears throat> why don't we take a look around outside, you know, and see if we got a better idea how they... Oh, I just saw a rat right there. I don't know if I got it on film. He had his little nose right here. Uh, you know, so I... It looks like to me that pretty much this unit needs to be rats removed. I mean, what, what would you say the, the process would be? Well, I think, I think the process would be that um, the rats need to be trapped out. Um, I think traps need to be put inside different places and, um, and then there needs to be a process of, 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 of catching rats and removing them and resetting traps. Um, that process needs to go on until no more rats are caught. And then once all the rats are gone, then I think it's time to look at, at closing off the holes that we find. Um, so it's a step-by-step -step process. So. Uh, how about the, the cleanup, the clean-out? I mean, f from what we've seen, nearly everything needs to be removed. And, uh, f you know, all the, <clears throat> you know, sanitation. I mean, do you think the resident maybe should relocate during this p period of time? I mean, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. You know, we saw the the sofa with rat droppings on it. It doesn't seem like a very good place to be preparing any food. The rats even chewed into the, the box of salt. Well, I think um, during the cleanup process, I think... Uh, resident probably uh, should not be here. I don't think that, you know, it's so many items that the rats have ran on, it's so much evidence of them being on, on cooking surfaces, on, you know, uh, on the, the, for example, the canned goods, uh, all the, the, the cooking utensils and pots and things, there's evidence of them being on all that. And I think that, uh, I think a lot of the stuff here should be removed and thrown away. So here we are outside, Dave, and <clears throat> so you could kind of take a look at some of the, the main entrance ways that the rats were getting into the structure. Okay, well if you, if you take a look here, you'll see where, you know, this is a, uh, I guess you call it a mobile home or a modular home. And right here you can see where you have an opening here around this portion of the building. And you can see where, you know, of course your normal color of the building is right here. It's a white color. Then you look right here, you see the discoloration. You also see the discoloration on this rock here. So they are running in and out through here. If you actually were to look uh, inside, you can see kind of little evidence of their footprints. So most of us, when we go home, we close the door to our home, and nothing is able. Am I still on? I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know how I Ivy seems to be a very popular place for for rats. Looks like we have a little burrowing underneath. Mm -hmm. Is this more more mobile home park on the back? Well, but it, but it is still an ideal place for rats, huh? Runway, little runway back in there. I got the hot water heater open, door open, David. It is? Okay. So, do you, do, you, right do you think there might be a, 
an access way up in the roof. You know, we've seen so much activity go up in, into the roof area. Do you think that might just be harborage? It's hard to say. What do you mean? Oh, I just want to access the interior to the roof? It might be something up there, unless. No, it's, uh, I doubt it. What we got here, Dave? Well, here we have the hot water heater area. Um, if you look, you can see we have a, uh, a drain pipe here. And the furnace also. Huh? Hot water heater area and the furnace. And if you look, you can also see uh, where it opens up actually into the crawl space and then goes up. So Dave, mm -hmm. this normal routine is when he goes to work, he locks the dogs in the bedroom. So he's going to continue to do that that we can then get the live trap out in all the other areas of the house. Okay. And the rascals should be running free because they're used to dogs being locked in the room and back when he said work anyway. Okay. 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 Quite often I lost so we, <coughs> we could see the, the rats remove the carpet so they could get into the linen closet. Seems to be a regular walk runway. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, I think so. They really um they really gnawed it off. And, uh, and let me show you, you in the bathroom the here. Um, you see where they've taken a lot of these, like this, where they chewed the chewed the box. Oh, they just chewed right off. You know, nothing is sacred to them. Hmm. Well, I had a heavy duty plastic, uh, like a, a picnic. Uh, cooler that I was keeping food in that I want to keep away from them. They got in. And that worked for a long time, but eventually they managed to chew their way all the way through it. it looks like they're Open. You can see in the back there in the ceiling where they chewed through the ceiling. Yeah, so they made their way into the walk in closet. Well, that's a new one since that one farther out is new since I've been in here. Huh. So they've been chewing away the uh, ceiling material and Obviously, they're you know, looking for more nests. Want to take a look in here, Dave? Oh yeah, I can see. I can see pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty active. Oh. That one way. It's just classic to see that one way. Is this something they could use? A plug? Or is that electric? So Dave, uh, what are you doing here? Right here I'm setting up a, this is actually a wildlife camera. Um, this thing is activated uh, by motion and at night, you know, it doesn't matter if it's night. Uh, it will pick up. Rats are active at night, they're nocturnal, so it will pick them up uh, as they go through this opening right here. So they will be on film. Uh, 
this is what we're doing just so we can get an, an idea of just how many are actually coming in. Yeah, so whether they're coming in from outside or they're just happily inside. Yeah, okay. It could be that they are, a lot of them are actually living inside. Um, and it could also be that a lot of them are running. Because behind us we have ivy. It could be that a lot of them are running from the ivy and running underneath the, the trailer here and then entering the house. Uh, so anyway, this is what we're trying to, trying to figure out.